Thanks for dropping in. This is my latest 3D printed design, a pencil box with a rolling shutter door. To open it, just push the shutter aside like this. The door slides out of the way and into a little compartment in the side. And thanks to this window, it's easy to access the shutter and slide it back into a closed position. It's an absurdly simple design, but a surprisingly secure one. This roll top mechanism is something I've been meaning to print for years. I even mentioned it briefly in an ancient video about brainstorming puzzle box designs. At the time, I thought the shutter would be a challenge to print. A multi-hinged monstrosity with tiny moving parts. Little did I know, a single solid print could be more than flexible enough to do the job. This is what the shutter looks like outside the box. It prints flat and has no hinges at all. Even PLA, which is quite brittle, can flex reliably when printed in the right shape and orientation. I also designed a heart-shaped version suitable for Valentine's Day. This box comes with two shutters that acts as two separate internal compartments. It's sort of a romantic version of a box of nerds candy. Unlike the pencil box, this print also has some embossed text. This isn't part of the model. I use the text tool, which has been added to the latest alpha version of Prusa Slicer, to carve this text into the case as I was preparing it for the printer. This feature is amazing, and I hope it will result in a lot more customized prints in the future. Okay, you've seen the boxes, but how do you make your own copy? I have extra parts for two more boxes, so let's assemble them. For the heart-shaped box, we'll need two cases and two shutters. Even though the cases are different colors, they are physically symmetrical. It really doesn't matter which one goes on the top and which one goes on the bottom. The pencil holder cases, on the other hand, are not identical. Make sure you print one copy of each, or this isn't going to work at all. I recommend test fitting everything first. The connections should be pretty tight. They might even stick well enough that you can try out the shutters. If everything looks good, then it's time to glue. It's incredibly important not to get glue anywhere near the sliding shutters. So I'm only applying glue to the inside walls where the cases overlap. You also don't need a whole lot of glue. Just a small bead or a few drops should do it. And now we just wait for the glue to set. And there we are, two new shutter boxes. Now that I've printed a few of these, I think this mechanism might make for a good fidget. Or maybe I should reconsider using this in a puzzle box. Let me know what you think. Is there a use I haven't even considered yet? In any case, that's all I have for now. So until next time, happy printing and thanks for stopping by.